What up y'all, Sir Cash here. And I promised you more content and here it is. We have Team Euphoria out at the meet. So uh, I'll go down the list and I will uh, try to talk to a couple members for y'all. I will do individual uh, interviews with each one of them. But for now, let's go down the list, see what we got. First, we have David's AMG Mercedes. It has been tuned. Uh, there's no suspension work whatsoever, but right now it's just essentially tuned. A um, little pocket rocket, the GLA45. And then we have David's Sonic with his uh, graphics that was done by uh, Emirates Rap House. It's actually been ceramic coated. The car is extremely clean. Euphoria doesn't discriminate when it comes to vehicles that we will have we actually like a build of everything um, and it's more about the people than it is about as like saying oh we only let skylines or Lexus or you know high-end cars I actually like this car a lot so and of course you know my car and we have Emrys GT Mustang where is Emrys at he's somewhere around here fully built I think he's pushing 700 right now can tune up to a thousand horsepower 5.0 GT Emirates wrap house always gonna plug that this thing is no joke hi y'all y'all gonna be in my video for the blog Emirates come on do an interview real quick bro yeah 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 tell me about your car it's a 2011 Ford Mustang, 5 liter Coyote, Gen 1. Uh, it's a fully built motor, fully built transmission. Archangel built the motor. Lyle Lashbrock built the transmission. E85 tune, full fuel system, uh, 18 pounds of boost on a VMP Gen 2R supercharger, and uh, just tuned north of 730 horsepower through Ortiz Performance. Mm. Did you hear it? He ain't say no game. What you like about Euphoria, man? What you like about Team Euphoria? I like the camaraderie, the family that we have. It's not about uh, the quantity of people that we have. It's about the quality of people that we let into our club. It's once you're in, you're in for life. You're a family. And we're not just banner chasers. And we're out to really go ahead and bring the luster back into the car community. It's not about burnouts. It's not about revving up. It's not about acting a fool. It's about showing the pride and joy that you build in your car, the extension of yourself, as well as giving back to the community. That's right. It's not blood in, blood out, but it could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> you was in the service, correct? Uh, yes, sir. 11 years in the military. United States Army. That's right, man. You can tell the way he carries himself. He plays no <laughs> yeah, games. That, that high and tight manages to stay. You never get rid of it. That's what's up. He's the one who did my interior for the other video that I uh, posted before this. Uh, he did the headliner. I've had people look at it. Dude, they've been blown away, man. So. He's Rap House. So look us up on Facebook. Or you can also contact me by cell phone, 918-933-7202. We do graphics, full wraps, half wraps, custom graphics, uh, headliners, headlight restoration, detailing, ceramic coating. You kind of name it. We're kind of an auto, all-included automotive restyling. That's what's up, man. See, this guy knows how to plug himself. For real. And there's our team photographer he's actually going to start doing some of the videos know, man. what's up man introduce yourself bro you know trey graves 918 photography i do this all day you can look me up on instagram at 918 say cheese i'm gonna i'm gonna be getting some of these nice shots for this lexus the 50 you know i gotta get some of uh, 100 over there it's gonna go crazy every time i get out here with it that's right man that is right. Look at the plug, man. This dude's killing it. <laughs> hey, son, how are you? I'm good. What's up, vlog? Uh, this is uh, this is like a little car meet. Uh huh. You enjoying yourself? This one got a good got a good team video. In. That's right. Hey, we haven't done an update on the LS blog. So uh, so far, 
we haven't really done too much to the LS. We added LEDs to it. Um, still got to do some body work on it. Um, but right now, my broski, Lance, is driving it. I wish this car was here. What up, Lance, bro? What up, what up? What up? You know, we out here. Introduce Lance, yourself. Uh, I'm Lance. I drive the 2008 Mazda Speed 3 with the rising sun on the side. Oh, we got we to gotta do a straight up interview on that. Exactly. Can't wait to get it out. Unfortunately, there's no fuel going to the motor. We don't know what the issue is, but we'll find out. That's right. We'll find out. My man. What up, One of the guys I've known, actually, actually the guy I've known the longest on the team. What's up, man? What up? I'm Introduce Louis. yourself. I'm Louie, and I drive the uh, 15 RC250. Woo-wee! Is that carbon fiber? It sure is, man. How long have you had your car? Over three years. Bought it stock, right? Stock, stock. Stock, stock. Stock, stock. So, what actually, before we ask about your mods, what made you want to jump into this platform? Man, I had a Subaru before. That was so much headache. Uh, I had that engine build. Every time I went to race it, I used to. When I lived in the Philippines, I had it. I use it for daily. I use it for autocross. I use it for mountain racing. I use it for drag racing. Mm -hmm. And working on that motor, especially a spark plug, man, it's like really tight on the side. And I get kept dumping money on that. On <laughs> and my family, we all drive Lexuses. I'm like. Ever since this car came out, I wanted it, man. So, it's a beautiful car, man. Dude, so, this or the V8? <laughs> yeah, I would love the V8, man. I would love the GSF, and I know you want the RCF, but... Uh, I, bought, I bought a new house like six months before this car, so I'll like, tighten my dude. Yeah. All right. All right, now explain to me your mods. First, what suspension mods do you have, sir? Yes, uh, RSR Super Down Springs. Okay. And we know about RSR Super Downs. If you want to link, I actually did one uh, when I first got my car. So RSR Super Downs. Uh, what about your wheels and tire setup? Uh, Verde VF. Uh, I forgot which one it was, but they're a full form forge. Pretty light, like 22 pounds. Mm -hmm. Way lighter in stock. Right. Uh, 19 by 9, 19 by 10. And I got... Of course, a saving carbon hood, carbon side mirror caps. Those are dope. Those look like the same ones I see on a BMW. <laughs> what about that interior? This mug is crisp. This camera ain't doing it justice. This thing is crisp. It looks brand new. Just a few carbon fiber material upgrades on the shift knob. Oh, it smells so good. I can't even front, guys. I can't even front. And then I see you've added the LED thing. If you haven't noticed, that's kind of a euphoria thing. Oh, don't want to die back here. Uh, Emerson doesn't have his on, but yeah, it's kind of a euphoria thing. Actually, I wouldn't say it's a euphoria thing. It's like we all just got it and we stuff like that. Uh, tell me about that exhaust, bro. It's a Manzo twin loop exhaust. Uh huh. And then, like, front sides, they're a silk blaze style um, lip, lip kit. And then, just the rear to match, it's just like a. I think Universal eBay rear uh, railings. Nice, man. So, what is one thing that you that you've learned about owning this car? Man, I beat on it. It's comfortable. It's perfect days with me. It gets the job done, doesn't it? Gets it? The job. Oh, is your car tuned at all? Do you have any tuning on your car? Yeah, it's our our racing tune. Uh, Takeda intake. I think that's it. Strut bar. Strut bar blitz. Uh huh. Nice. Keep it simple. Yeah, but it's functional and it works and it's clean. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, Euphoria, bro. Back in the day. Back in the day, man. Bro, how many cars have you owned? Just, just general question. Dude, not much. Like about four. Four? You've only owned four cars ever? Dude, I don't get rid of my cars. <laughs> uh, I'm up to thirty. Yeah, I don't get rid of my cars. Fun yet? Yes, we are having fun. Are you having fun? I hate it. Oh, okay. Just because of the smell of weed. <laughs> I'm allergic to weed. Oh. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So if you see me cover my mouth or anything, that's me trying not to throw up and all that. Well, definitely don't want that, bro. <laughs> have you showed your uh, new setup? I have. Uh, I did a video yesterday. I didn't do as much. Uh, it was really nice. I know. Yeah. I actually, that's 
thoroughly impressed I touched me the how, headliner, not, man. how clean it came out. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like, cause yeah, when I touched the headliner, I thought you could feel it. Nah. Yeah, no. it, dude, it's super flush, man. I don't know how the heck he did that so flush. Like, he, he did a good job of it. Son, you okay? You hot, buddy? I got some juice. I hate video in <laughs> Yeah, he is. He's getting more and more content. All right. Now it's time to talk to the next homie. Thanks, Louie. Will. Oh, he gave me the finger. He's having a private conversation. Anyways, that's Will's WRX. Uh, he obviously has a lot done to it. I'm going to get back to him and let him uh, explain to his car. Actually, in part two.